Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today we are going to talk about a hot topic amongst Luton fans and that is Paddy Ruddock. Will he stay? Will he go? I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the current situation. We're going to go proper deep into this. You know, I don't think many of you guys listening may enjoy what I'm going to say, but it's my opinion and this is my thoughts. I'm going to you know, back up my points as much as possible throughout the video. And yeah, let's get started. So firstly, my thoughts on the current situation. I honestly believe this should have been done a lot sooner. I don't know why we've allowed Pelly, in my opinion, to fall, you know, well, how we've... Basically, I don't understand how we've got into this situation where Pelly has had six months left on his contract. I don't know why a new deal wasn't offered to him before then. Um, I'm guessing because we're in this transitional period of, you know, we don't know if how well we're progressing as a football club, so we don't know whether or not we're going to be a League One side or a Championship side. It's really hard to probably offer current players certain deals and stuff like that. Um, it's probably really confusing, and that's probably the reason why we actually haven't offered him a new deal. Um, I don't know like the logistics behind it, but I'm guessing it's probably one of those reasons on why, you know, it's... It's a lot difficult. We've obviously had a pandemic as well. So, yeah, I I'm, I guess there's reasons why Pelly hasn't been offered a new deal. But even so, I do think this should have we should not have been in this situation regarding Pelly. I do think he should have had some sort of um, new deal. I don't know if he's been offered one behind the scenes. Obviously, I don't know. But from my opinion, I don't think we should be in this current situation regarding Pelly. Pelly is in the situation now where he's in control of his future. His contract at Luton has now expired. Um, he is currently a free agent. He can do what he wants. He can talk to any club he wants. That's the situation Pelly is in. We have offered Pelly a new contract. We offered that new contract in April, so before the season finished. So he's had a while to obviously think about where he wants to go. And to be fair, if I was in his current situation, I would want to know what options I can take. So I can either stay at Luton or I can go to another club. Now, depending on what type of footballer Pelly is will determine whether or not he will stay at Luton. Now, I do not, you know, there's been times where I criticise players for going for the money, but I at the end of the day, it's a short career. They can do what they want. You know, if they can earn a few thousand pounds extra a week playing for a different team, then it's probably a no-brainer to a player on why they would lead to another club. I understand that. So if Penny's going to earn, I don't know, an extra hundred grand at another club, then fair play to him. Let him do what he wants to do. You know, he's been a great servant at Luton. But for me, if I'm a player, I want to know what's the best project for me as a footballer. Can I still get better? Can I still achieve more stuff at a club? You know, I want to know what's going to make my career even better than what it currently is. So it depends what mindset Pelly has at the moment. Does he want his last big move? Because you've got to remember now, he is 27, but he will be turning 28 this month, which means it's going to, it's going to be his last move. So does he go for that last final paycheck um, in his career where he's probably going to get a two to three year deal? Or will he... Well, or will he like settle, but settle for progression in his career and maybe an improvement in his career? I don't know. It's really hard to um, obviously predict what Pelly's mindset is currently like at the moment. But what we know is he's been offered a new deal. He's obviously his agents, his management team, they're dealing with it with the club. The club are now playing a waiting game. We're just waiting to see what Pelly's decision is going to be. We've had a few rumours that Middlesbrough are after Pelly and stuff like that. I, I honestly think if he does leave, I think he would be going for the money, which in my opinion, it's okay. You know, you do what you need to do. I don't think... Many teams in the championship have a better like, football project than Luton. Yeah, there are bigger clubs out there in the championship than Luton, but I'm, t I'm talking about projects at Luton. I do think we've got a very good project. I think the vision, you know, the future of Luton is so bright. It's so, you know, it's really exciting. And I just don't see many teams with the same, you know, ambitions as as Luton, I think we're a very unique football club who have very high ambitions and 
we want certain players to be a part of that. And I'm pretty sure that Luton want Pelly to be a part of that because he has been at the club for a very long time. Deep down, I really wish Pelly does stay. I do think he's unique. His energy in the midfield is brilliant at times. Off the field as well, he's very... He's fantastic. He's he's basically one of those guys in the dressing room which makes everyone laugh. He's, he makes everyone gel. I think he's actually more important off the pitch than he is actually on it at times. Just the way he is as a character and as a person, which is great to see because you want those types of characters and individuals like in the dressing room. You, you really do. Like I see it on Instagram and like Snapchat sometimes with the footballers, you know, where they're posting their like um, videos on, on, their, on their social media and Pelly's like the main man making everyone laugh, you know, doing dances like after wins and stuff. You know, it's great to see and it's good for team morale. And team morale is very important if you're going to be successful, especially at a football club. So deep down, Pelly is a very important player. He's been very successful at Luton. He's been at the club for a very long time. As we all know, he's won three promotions at the club and he's four games away from making 300 appearances at Luton. He's played under three managers, you know, he's had bad times at the club, he's had good times at the club as well. Bad times in regards to his injuries, he kept getting injured. And then Nathan came in and sorted him out and he's been a regular player for Luton ever since Nathan has been at the club. You know, it, even in these first, like, spell at the club, Penny's rarely been out of the team and that's that's down to Nathan, you know. If Nathan couldn't get that out of him, then we probably wouldn't have seen the same Penny which we see now. Now, for me, Pelly is a Luton legend. I I struggle to understand what well, I struggle to not understand why people don't think he is. Um, I know it's a massive split I've noticed with the older generation and the younger generation. The younger generation say he is a legend. The older generations say he isn't a legend. I deep down do think he is because legends are really hard to come by nowadays because players don't stay at clubs for very long. So the actual like definition of a legend has probably changed over the years whether people like that or not now back in obviously the older day well not the olden days but like back when my dad was my age for example you know he was watching Luton playing you know what is now the Premier League you know watching you know the likes of Ricky Hill obviously MacArthur play you know he looks at them as legends which I totally understand but it my generation we've seen Luton in the Football League and be very successful in the Football League and Pelly has been part of that. You know, he's been a very important part of Luton's history. You know, especially from the non-league days as well. He's the only one left. You know, he's managed to stay. And for that as well, I think deserves to have that legend status. I think he deserves to be part of the, you know, those names which my dad grew up watching. Because he's played on the three managers now. He's stepped up, you know, non-league. He stepped up in. League 2, League 1, and in the Championship. Whether you like it or not, Pelly for me, is a Championship player. And more than one manager has said it as well. One of the managers who has said Pelly is a Premier League player is currently helping England in coaching, who's having a very successful tournament right now. And he's also coached in the Premier League for so, so many years. So I highly doubt those coaches don't know what they're talking about. One of them is very successful at Luton, which is Nathan Jones, who rates Pelly very highly and believes he's a championship player. Mick Harford, who's also a Luton legend, rates Pelly a lot. Graham Jones. John Steele, because John Steele signed him. So there's obviously reasons why Pelly is a very good player at Luton and why he's still at the club. You know, if he wasn't that good, he wouldn't be here. He he would have gone by now. But for me, he stepped up and that for that reason and for all his achievements which he's done at Luton, that for me deserves, you know, a legend status. Also, if you look at what he's done on the pitch, some of his goals, some of his goals have been very important. He's known for scoring bangers as well. Yes, he should have scored more goals. Yes, he should have contributed more on the pitch. I do agree with that. I think he should have done more. But, you know, that's something, a part of his game that he obviously needs to improve on. Not Every player, like, I don't feel like a player has to be given a legend status because he scored, a, like, scoring goals and getting assists. Obviously, that does contribute slightly, but you don't need to score goals, get, get assists to be classed as a legend, you know. There's so many players out there who are not known for that, but are still regarded as, like, club legends. 
if you look at Michael Carrick, for example, everyone looks at him now and thinks he's he was actually a like a class player, but no one realised what he actually did on the pitch. And I do believe when Pelly eventually does leave Luton, whether that be this season or in the future, that fans will realise actually Pelly contributed a lot more than just the goals and the assists. He did a lot of other things which were that went unnoticed. And I do believe when Pelly doesn't play, we lack energy in the starting eleven at times. We we honestly really do. And I don't want to hear like he only has one good game in five or one good game in ten. That's rubbish. If he does that, he wouldn't be starting. It, I don't I don't understand that logic. You gotta remember as well, like you know, analytics, you know, coaches, they look at stats nowadays and obviously Pelly Pelly stats must be doing something right. Otherwise he wouldn't be in that starting eleven, you got to remember these coaches see these players week in, week out. Pelly must have something about him for him to start games, you know. So for that, I think Pelly is good enough for this level. I do think he's harshly criticised at times. I get it; he can be very frustrating as well on the pitch, um, especially with his passing, you know. Um, but he takes risks, and that's what you want. You want a player to take risk um, on on the football pitch. If they don't, then, you know, sometimes the game doesn't go as planned. But if you don't take those risks, you know, anything can happen. You know, you need players that do everything. And I do think Pelly has that about him. And I would be gutted to see him go. Since he came to the club, yeah, I may be a little bit biased. He's been my favourite player since he's been at the club. You know, I've loved watching him play. Yeah, he does frustrate me. He frustrates me more than probably anyone like watching him because he's my favourite player and I want him to do well. But I do think he gets overly criticised and he doesn't need to have that criticism, from, especially from fans, especially like from people around me when I go to the games. I'm like, just support him. You know, he, he's obviously a good player. Otherwise, he wouldn't start games. You know, a lot of people didn't like Tunnicliffe. Now, the difference between Tunnicliffe and Pelly was, you know, Tunnicliffe clearly wasn't good enough because he didn't start week in, week out. Pelly's always started week in, week out. So what does that show you? Pelly's obviously a better player and obviously he's doing more in training to warrant a start and he's obviously performing to what the manager wants him to do. So those are just my opinions, but deep down, I wouldn't blame Pelly for leaving the club. I believe he's a great player. I wish him all the best if he does. Um, I want him to stay, of course, but at the, at the end of the day, if he's got his last move, he needs it, it, he's got to do what is best for his career. If he believes going up north or going to another club is the best for him, then so be it. We have to move on. Do I think he's replaceable? Yeah, I do think we can replace him quite easily, in fact. But I would like him to stay because of what he's achieved at Luton and with him being a very important part of Luton's history, which is being part of that non-league journey up into the Championship. It would be obviously gutting to see him go, but hopefully he can stay Hopefully he can stay until he gets like a testimonial as well. But yeah, it's very rare to see players like him stay at a club for a very long period of time. But I wish him all the best if he does leave Luton because I will miss him. You know, he's gave me some really good memories like supporting Luton. You know, so yeah, I would be very devastated to see him leave the club. But overall, that is my opinion on Penny Roddick. I would like him to stay, of course, but if not then we're just going to have to move on like we always do when a very important player or any player leaves Luton. You know, we always move on. You know, no player for me is bigger than the club. And yeah, you know, it would be devastating to see him go. But fingers crossed he doesn't, in my opinion. And we see him next season, um, at, obviously, in the Kenny, you know, performing well and scoring more bangers for the club but anyway guys that is the end of today's video hopefully you did enjoy listening to my thoughts on Penny Ruddock make sure you drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it comment below your thoughts on the situation I'm just going to warn you guys now please don't you know criticize a lot of my opinions you know it's just my opinion at, at the end of the day and yeah I don't mind debating with a few of you guys but you know, let's keep it clean in the comments. I, I've had a few fans recently not keep it clean. But, yeah, let's keep it clean in the comments. And, yeah, just let me know what you think of, about the Petty situation. Do you want him to stay? Do you want him to go? Let me know your thoughts on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Don't forget to follow me across all my social media if you haven't done it already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.